Okay, so now I'm going to go a little bit into the contract stocking that was going on in Lauren Drive neighborhood. And I'm the only authority on anything with me. So if you watch me on YouTube, I'm the only authority allowed to speak on me because I'm the only person who's been here from day one. I've been here with me from day one since I've been born. I'm the only authority on me. Everybody else is just a biatch. <sighs> and that's the fact. So when the gang when the contract stocking gang stocking when I really took notice to it in the neighborhood I realized that the guy across the street from me um was a corrections officer and he used to be a Marine. Then the guy two houses down from me on my side, like if you're pulling into the driveway, it'd be two houses down on the left. I realized he was a police officer and the next guy to the left was a Navy recruiter. That's the same house that that truck smashed into. And, you know, I think there's even something up with that. I think the way that truck just smashed into the house, it seemed to me like, like they said the guy in the truck was dead before the truck hit the house. And I don't know those people. I never, I never spoke to them before. But they said the truck hit the house and the guy in the truck was dead or whatever like it even seemed like there was something up with that and then in the newspaper the way the people were standing and everything it just looked kind of tripped out the whole article looked fucked up but you know that's crazy that happened but all right so then that guy he's a navy recruiter and so then the guy next to him is a police officer and you got the corrections officer then you got the other people who came to court and lied on me and all that stuff and so the whole neighborhood is like the whole neighborhood to me is like infested with like terrorism and snitching and stuff and i would never recommend to anybody to buy a house on lauren drive for the simple fact is people watch your like on lauren drive like people the way people live on lauren drive they watch your house like you're on parole or something like in even the people who are involved with the, with the white glove treatment or the gang stock whatever the fuck you want to call it even there, even like people are watching them, and I think the neighbors in the neighborhood listen to each other's phone calls, because there's no way in the world people can go into a courtroom and just lie like that and walk out, and nothing can, and nothing can be done of it. Everybody knows they lied, and still nothing can happen. That shows you right there there's something seriously wrong, and I think in the neighborhood, I think like between like the police officer the Navy recruiter, and the Marine, I think it's a good possibility they've probably got people's phones tapped and they're listening to all their neighbors' phone calls and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about nothing. No, I, I, I ever find out somebody got my phone t- I ever find out somebody got my phone tapped, I'm putting them on blast. I'll put their name, what I mean on blast, I'll put their name all over the Internet and tell everybody who they are. I don't give a fuck. And so, then the neighbor next to me, uh, at 4662, he's involved with it. Then after that, there's a quick family, they're involved with it. Then there's a white woman who who's married to some white guy, some bald white guy. They're all involved in it. And it go, then there's a school teacher, a high school teacher next to them. They're all involved with it. Like, the whole neighborhood, like, the whole neighbor, literally the whole neighborhood has participated in some way or another in the, the neighborhood contract stocking stuff. And then when I went to court, it was a thing to where they were trying to say it didn't exist. And the people who came into the courtroom, the Bastuka family, they were up there talking about, like, they didn't even know who I was and, 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 and all this stuff. Like, it, like, and then they put the gang stalking in the newspaper. So, what, like, all gang stalking means is a group of people following people. And then stalking can be addressed in many different ways. If you're, do, if you're doing un, uh, unwanted communication with somebody, if you're trying to communicate with somebody over and over again, that's a form of stalking. Like, you don't have to follow the person. Like, if I sat, like, if, okay, if I waited till somebody, say, say I sat there and waited for my neighbor to come and go from his house every day, and every time he came home, I would start flicking my lights. And every time he left, I would start flicking my lights based on his movement. And I know I'm doing this so he can see it. That's a form of communication. And if I kept doing that day in and day out, that's a form of communication. 
Okay, and if he let me know it was unwanted communication, then I'd have to stop. If I didn't stop, that's stalking. I should know naturally that's unwanted. He should. Nobody should have to tell me it's unwanted communication. You should know by by what you're doing that is is it, it can be considered disturbing the peace. You're disturbing somebody's peace of mind. Okay, and so the contract stalking that went on Lauren Drive. That's the stuff they do. People come outside their houses at certain times and wear certain colors. They put the brights on their cars. They follow people around, and to, to sit there and look at the footage and dismiss it, you know, that's superficial. You have to really take your time and pay attention to what you're being told and analyze the footage properly or you won't see what you're supposed to be looking at. Like bright brights on in broad daylight and all that stuff. It's not about, it's not about it happening once or twice. This is about this stuff happening 24-7 in neighborhoods throughout the whole country. So... So anyhow, so the whole neighborhood, you know, I think they watch people's houses. It's like it's like people pay taxes to live in the neighborhood. It's like they're prisoners in their own neighborhood. They watch people. They they wa they're watching people's houses, and when the people leave, certain neighbors come outside and do stuff. So they're making all these other people aware of your movements and where you are. They're making other people you don't even fucking know, know that you're not at your house. Or know that you're coming. Who the fuck is liable for that? That's like, that's a criminal activity. That's like casing somebody's house out. That'd be like me. That'd be like me and a group of people standing in a, in a neighborhood somewhere, and every time somebody leaves, we gotta go. We gotta follow them somewhere. That's what that's what people do when they're gonna bust in somebody's house. That's what car thieves do when they're gonna break, steal somebody's radio or something. Like, there's nothing legal about that. There's no reason in the world. Why somebody should know when you're coming and going from your fucking house. Even the police shouldn't know about that. That's your own personal life. The police aren't supposed to know when you're coming and going from your house. The FBI is not supposed to know when, when somebody's coming. The only people that should know when you're coming and going from your house is you. Or your wife or your children or your family. Nobody should have the right to know when an individual is leaving their house or coming to their house. That's illegal. That's endangering people. That's that's breaking every civil right you can imagine. You know? And so then then the fucked up part about it is they get involved these people these people get involved with other people around you and they fuck up your communication with these people. So these people that are doing this to you, it's like they're scared to even communicate with you because they see all this other stuff going on. And so I would I wouldn't recommend living on Lauren. I, I really wouldn't. Don't ever buy a house on Lauren Drive. 